by your faces that we are one big family and we are multicultural. We are different, that's what we are. But we are the human race. There's no We are family. You do not stand up for one of us, all of us will fall. Your choice, because it's coming, whether you like it or not, change is coming. And we do it in peace, will be a lasting change. I would rather do it in peace than to have all these people with guns tell me what's going to be right. It is not right for these police to be trained to shoot, to stop, and kill. Yeah. And then yeah. be trained what to say after they do it. You know what they're saying to you? They're saying, hey, if you murder this person, I'm going to tell you how to get away. Yep. And I'm a cop, so I get away. You wear a badge, you're supposed to protect us. You have more honor. You're supposed to have more respect. Yeah. And we don't have that happening. We have police officers who think that killing is an appropriate response to people who have no guns. That are not doing anything but running away from them. This has got to stop. We have got to, as a people, stand up. If one of us is attacked, all of us are attacked. You have to find that in your heart to know that. Otherwise, all of us are going to go down, one at a time, because it's divide and conquer. Yeah. And you have been conditioned from the time you were young to divide. I'm different from this person, and I'm different from that person. You're not. We bleed the same. My grandson is dead. He's dead at the hands of a police officer in 15 seconds from the time the man walked on the door to the time my grandson was dead on the ground. 15 seconds. And they tell me there was a big fight. You tell me. How many of you have ever been in a fight before it took 15 seconds? Really? Really? His gun was drawn. And he was walking out the door to get my grandson and succeeded in doing it. And this is done. I don't want anybody to feel the way I feel. My pain does not go away. Every day I cry for him. And it's got to stop. Because we don't need that. We need to be able to have our children out on the street and say they're safe. Safe from the people who are protecting them. Safe from everybody. And this is a time for us to put guns down. And stand up. And say, I'm done. I'm done with fighting, I'm done with war, I'm done with all of this. And I'm definitely done with the police shooting me. <laughs> and it shouldn't be bait. And give me wrong, don't give me wrong, please. Because they are killing everyone. You just don't hear it. You just don't hear it. Everybody's lives matter, but they target young black men. They target my grandson and thought it would be okay. It's not. I'm sorry. I, I, I get a little, I get a little. All right, baby. I believe in peace. I know that we are a butterfly, man. And we are flapping our wings. So everybody flap your wings because we are going to cause that tsunami. We are coming with power. We are coming with force, and you don't think so because you say little numbers. But I say it's the little things that count. It's the little things that make big things. And we will be a force they cannot stop. And we come with our fists raised, and we come in like Martin Luther King with unconditional love and the power of truth. The power of truth. And that's how I feel. Thank you. Sorry, you guys.